Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Megan with Brown's Boutiques, and today I'm doing something kind of different, but I hope you guys will like it. Uh, in honor of Memorial Day tomorrow, and also 4th of July coming up in about, you know, just over a month and some odd days, I decided to do something kind of different, but I thought really creative. So I wanted to do a wreath for our front door, um, for our new home uh, that we are renting. Uh, this can also be for inside or it can be a gift for someone to use somewhere in their house decoration. It doesn't have to be on the front door per se. But I think it would kind of work. I kind of made it more for 4th of July and you'll see why in a second. But I also made it for, it's also red, white, and blue so it can also be for Memorial Day too if you like. And so I'm going to show you kind of what it is. It is a wreath. Can, if you guys can see it. It's red, white, and blue, and it also has these little things here. I thought they looked like fireworks, you know, fireworks, kind of. And I have three sets of them right there. And I thought that'd look really cool. And then this to hang here from the door. And if you hear something in the background, my son is right here. And so I just wanted to do something kind of different. So I hope you guys like it. And I had to get the materials again. I actually did this last week. But I had to get all the materials so I could show you guys how to make it yourself if you want to. And you can use any kind of colored yarn you want to. You can make like a Halloween one or a Christmas one. This one just happened to fall. I saw this yarn and I will show you and I'll show you the label. I happened to find it at Michael's and I just saw this coloring and I was like, oh, that's perfect for 4th of July coming up. And I was like, wait, also Memorial Day is coming up. And so it's really super soft. It's Burnett. I will show you the label and everything. So if you guys want to find the same yarn, you guys can. And you guys can use it, and I'll show you how I made this. So keep watching, and before I go further, if you want to, you can subscribe to my channel for more videos. I hope to do more craft videos, um, sticking along with crochet and yarn, but just trying to also break out. And so yeah, go ahead and subscribe for more, to see more videos. Also hit a thumbs up, and like this video, leave a comment if you like, and let's I'll show you the materials you need. And so the first material is a styrofoam wreath. I found this also at Michael's and I'll show you the label here real quick. It's actually in the floral department. It says floral craft foam wreath. It's the sizing is 15.8 inches or 40.1 centimeters. But yeah, it was $6.99 I do believe. So a little pricey, but for a wreath that you're gonna, you know, you can use throughout the year or just for a holiday, it's not too bad. And for some reason my camera's not focusing. There it goes. So yeah, so you need a wreath to start with. And then the label, I'll show you the yarn, it's so pretty, is this. Now I bought two skeins of this and I will show you the label to show you the size it is. I thought I was gonna need, I didn't know how much I was gonna need to make this project. I barely used like a yard, if even that much of yarn. I used very little, surprisingly. So I have all this left over to, I don't know, maybe make a wreath for my uncle who was in the army. I don't know, I'll see, I'll think about it. But I have a whole nother skein, basically two whole skeins still, to use this yarn for something. I'll find something for it, I always tend to. And so yeah, it's super soft, it's Burnett Blanket Brights. And here's the label by Yarn Inspirations. And it's in the coloring. I hope that was long enough for you guys. If you want a screenshot or take a picture of that. And then here is the label. It's red, white, and boom for the label and the lot number and everything. And it's the 10.5 ounce, 300 gram, 220 yards, 100% polyester. But yeah, it's a Burnett Blanket Brights. It's, I just saw another, ooh really great so that is the label for it if you guys want to get the same kind and also i am using just an old skein i've had of bright white yarn and i will show you why um it's very important for me that it was bright white because it matches the white in here if you want to use black or any other color i would prefer i would say white would recommend you use to attach the fireworks <laughs> So I'm using bright white. It's just an old skein I have. It's probably red heart from like a billion years ago that I've had for a very long time. So it's thin. It's just a thin yarn, everyday yarn. Nothing fancy about it. And then I have my fabric scissors, sewing scissors, I forget what they're called. 
um, just got them at Michael's or Hobby Lobby somewhere, or even Walmart, I think maybe Walmart, um, to cut with. And I think that's all we need. And so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do this project. And I'm gonna take the label off. And like I said, if you hear anything in the background, we are getting our backyard ready for outdoor entertainment this summer. So my dad and husband and son are outside. I don't know. That's out in the backyard. It's kind of hard to see because the sun is so bright. But they're outside working out there. So you may hear some stuff in the background. So I apologize in advance for that. Uh, they're, they're trying to be quiet. They know I'm filming. <laughs> and so, and also, our cat is right here. That's Smokey. Say hi, Smokey. Yeah, he was trying to go for my yarn right here. So I'm going to move this over here. He likes to try to play with my yarn. So you may see him pop in every once in a while. Sorry, my camera wanted to try and fall on me here. So, okay. So what I did is I took the yarn, you know, took the label off, all that. And got... Now, the thing is, and I'm just now remembering this. When you're doing this, unless you know how much you need, you're going to want to keep it fairly wrapped up and I will show you why. There are a couple ways you can do this. The easiest way I think is to keep it all together and just work it through and I will show you. Or I had to a couple times because I didn't realize this when I was making it until halfway through. Um, the yarn got tangled up and so I cut it and then I had to tie it on and I can show you how to tie it on and it's just like a knot. I had to tie it on and start again with some more yarn because I it kept getting tangled so what I decided to do how I decided to start it is if you see on the wreath it has this seam right here where it's fused together I decided to make that where the top would be so let's see if I can show you so it'd be hanging from that seam at the top does that make sense okay so I took the yarn it's kind of hard to see. I need to get a taller tripod is what I need to do so I can actually see. Is I just kind of folded it, the yarn, you know, just kind of like that. Just a couple inches, you know. And I laid it on top like that. You can see? It's kind of hard. It's white on white. Well, then I took it and I held it there. And then I took the yarn. I don't know why I did it this way. I just thought it would be a good idea. So you take the yarn. I went to the front. Okay. So I take my, the rest of my yarn, I take the whole skein, and I go through. And then I wrap it. So it comes back. That was kind of, you didn't see that, sorry. But I brought it back to the front, and then it doesn't work for me. This was a lot of trial and error, and it eventually did work for me. It's just hard to show someone how to do this. But so I'm taking it, I'm moving it to the front. I'm taking the, the part that's still attached to the skein here. I'm going to wrap it underneath, see if this will show better. And then I just reached in over the top and I pulled it through. So then this part is going to go right next to that one I put forward. And I still have my little tail over here. And this is the part that's still connected to the skein. So I took the skein and I went up, through, like that, okay? Now you got to have to hold this because it's not going to stay. Now you, if you want to use like fabric glue or hot glue, I didn't want to use any glue if I could avoid it at all costs because it's messy and I just don't like dealing with it. So I held it. So you want to you're gonna have to hold it for a little bit until you get further along, and you'll see. So I'm gonna take it again, wrap it. Again, it's kind of hard to see because this is white. I put it right against, snug against, so there's no space around. Reach up through the bottom, and you can go either way, top or bottom, whichever. I just decided to go this way. Come down around the top. Okay. So this is still the tail. This is the one I just rolled right next to, snug against, as close as you can get. And then you take the yarn, the whole skein, go up through the bottom. And you see how it starts to unravel a little bit? But yeah, so that's basically all I did all the way around. So just take it, wrap it, put it right against so it's nice and snug. Take the yarn, go up through. And if you can see, there's Smokey right here. Say hi. He's fascinated by my yarn. And take it. So is that starting to make sense to you guys? You just kind of wrap it up under, reach through, and then wrap it against. And I, like I said, pull it close here, I'll get closer. 
See how it's real snug against there? See this? I'm just really going up the bottom. Okay, skein. And go around. Go up through. That's really all I did. Just went around and went around a couple times, you know, all the way around. And what I'm going to do now to show you is I'm going to cut some of this since it's starting to come undone anyway. What's wrong? Sorry, they're working on stuff in the backyard. Okay, so I just cut some. Okay, so this may be a little easier. <laughs> it's a little crazy around here right now, so okay. All right, so I cut some of the tail off, so I just have the end right here. So, take it, go up through the bottom, come around the top, and bring it down. I'm trying to do this the best I can, guys. Sorry if it's a little hard to see. It's really hard because you got to hold it. And then you can just pull it through. And then you would just wrap it. Go all the way around. Come up through the bottom. And over the top. Sorry. Over the top. Pull it all the way through. And you literally do that all... The way around and your arms are gonna get tired so you may have to take a few breaks I had to but it comes out really cool if you can start seeing it's coming out in the red white and blue here a little bit so but yeah literally that's all you do you just go around and around and around until the whole thing is wrapped sorry my hand keeps getting in the way Pull it up through the bottom here. So that is how I did that. And like I said, go all the way around. And you don't need a full skein. I did not need a full skein of it. So like I said, I have extra laying around now. And so that was how I did that. Now to make the fireworks. Because like I said, oh, and it also makes it super soft. As you can see, Smokey. Hi, Smokey. He wants my yarn. He's not getting it though. But yeah, so see, then you just go all the way around. And now, for the fireworks. I will show you how I made the fireworks. Because I came up, I thought it was really pretty creative myself. I'm actually going to use this yarn. But yeah, so I hope that was easy for you guys to see how to do the main body of it. I'm just going to undo this. And like I said, if you want to use, um, if you want it to be more secure, mine is very secure. I don't think it's going to come unraveled at all. Um, but if it does... You can always, if you want to, you can always use like fabric glue or something like that, hot glue, to attach it so it doesn't come undone. That's completely up to you, whatever you feel is best. Um, I just didn't feel it was necessary because this technique worked out really well for me. So I hope it works out for you guys if you decide to try this. And if you do, um, you can post, if you share it on Instagram, you can tag at Browns, uh, at, at <laughs> you can tag at Browns Boutiques on my Instagram page and then I'll see it and I'll be like, oh, so cool. So what I did for the fireworks, here I'll show you an up close photo of them. This right here. I just thought it looked kind of cool like fireworks. Um, what I did for those was I took the yarn I was already using and I cut strips. I cut little eight little strips and then I tied them on with the white yarn I used. So right here. Okay. So take this yarn. I'm going to move it down on the table here so you can see it. So you can see what we're working with here. So, get my scissors here. All right. So what I did was I kind of gauged based on the size of the wreath itself. I didn't measure them per se, but I figured like I just kind of halved it like a loop. And I was like, "Okay, that looks, you know, okay." You can do bigger, smaller, whatever size you want to do. I didn't want them hanging off too much and like dry, you know, like ugh, being really limp. So I thought like this would be a good length. So I'm pinching it over here. And so I'm going to cut over here where I have the end. And then I made it that long. Now this is a few inches. I would say maybe about mm, four inches or so, maybe four or five inches. Not sure. Again, I didn't measure it. I just went based on what looked good. So I would just take the rest of the yarn and use that one as a gauge. 
and you need to just line them up and I just clipped I just cut until I had eight of them so just keep going on the yarn now an idea I thought of for this was also if you have like sparkly yarn like a silver or a white even that could look pretty cool using for the fireworks because it would look like they're sparkling like fireworks you know but that's an idea that's up to you I'd already done this but when I thought of that one, two, three, four, five. All right, so. Six, I think that's six, yeah, that's six. Now I'm gonna get some white in here, because I want white, yeah, there we go. I wanted to have and kind of have all of the colors red, white, and blue, so. But just kind of how it comes off on the yarn. Okay, so, I have my eight. So I take my scissors and I would grab, oh, how much? Um, a little bit longer than the strips. I would say probably about that long. So probably maybe about another half or so of the length, about another length or so of them. Cut it. And what you're going to do is you're going to take it and you're going to go under and put them on top. So they're about halfway. And you take it and you just knot it. And just do a simple knot. And then you take it. So now you have this. It looks kind of fun. And you just would, when you're all done with your project, you just take it. And I chose three spots because I thought four would be too much, but two would be not enough. So I kind of made them spread out. But you just tie it around your wreath. I'm gonna tie it off screen here real quick. It's easier than trying to do it on the camera. But it's just a double knot around the wreath in whatever spot you chose. If you wanna do more or less, that's up to you completely. This is just what I felt was better for mine. And then you can just cut off any extra you have. And there you have a little firework. And I thought that was super cute and fun. Just an idea I had. Just to kind of make it look a little bit different instead of it just being, it looked kind of plain to me, so I thought this would be adding. Like I said, if you want to add like silver in, or like a silver ribbon, or a white sparkly ribbon, whatever you want to add onto it to make it a little bit more you, or a little bit more festive, that's up to you. But I thought I would try something new. This idea just kind of came to me. Um, my mom used to make uh, wreaths with fabric, and she used to sell them at flea markets back when I was little. And I've made one like that. I can make another one if you guys want to see that. Um... I'm going to try and find a picture and I'll probably post it on my Instagram or my Facebook page at Brown's Boutiques if you want to see that. Because um, I love making those and I want to make more of those. Uh, so I can make one of those if you like. But I'm hoping to make more of these throughout the year for the different holidays so we can have them on our door. And even make them for family and friends if they want to see them as well. But I hope you guys liked this little difference. Um, it wasn't crochet, but it was still using a yarn that I love, the Bernat, to do something a little different. So I'm trying to branch out into more craft-like things. Um, I have some ideas for some more projects coming up. And so I just I hope you guys like this video. If you do, again, give us a thumbs up. You can subscribe. Leave a comment down below about videos you want to see. Or if you try this, tag me in it. And I, wanna, I would love to see your guys' creations that you come up with. And so, yeah, that's going to be my video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you have a good rest of your day and a good holiday tomorrow. Stay safe. And, yeah, thanks, guys. Bye.